Hey, Goddess, how do you? This is a story time. I told you I would share some personal things. It's sad that we live in a society full of people that are sex crazy, sex hungry, and are looking to be loved from other people instead of loving themselves. We all know that love comes from within. There are too many people that don't value marriage, don't respect the marriage, and you have women fighting over men, you have women killing one another over a man, you may have a man killing another man for messing with his wife, and all these things that should not be happening. Happen. And because if you was loving yourself, you wouldn't be chasing after a man or a woman who is married to someone else. Point blank, I don't care what you say, how you put it. He tried to talk to me. No, he was lusting after you. She tried to talk to me. No, she was lusting after you. It's not about love. The nine times out of ten, when a man has an adulterous affair, it don't have nothing to do with him loving that woman that he's sleeping with. It has nothing to do with him hating his wife. It has nothing to do with his wife being a bad person. And I had to experience adultery. And I had left my husband. Um... Try to reconcile with him, but then I found out that the chick got pregnant, and I left him, and it was, it was five years ago. But during the fourth year, he had an opportunity to contact me, and what he did, because he always stated he would never get married again. He always stated he only wanted to be married one time, whether that marriage works out or not. He would never divorce me. And, um... For me, because that's my second marriage, I always vowed that I would never get married again. Two marriages is, an, is enough. I don't have the time or energy of getting to know no one again. Not that I gave up on marriage, but I just, I made that same promise that he would be the last man that I married. And I had first initiated divorce, the divorce. He didn't sign the petition, so it's still sitting in the court. And I, I did that what, almost three years ago. And I just said forget it because I really don't have time and energy to be getting married again. But I, I just want to share the, 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 this is how, I can't speak on a man because I'm not a man, but I can speak on a low self-esteem and a lack of self-respect and a lack of morals and vows in a woman. This female that had the affair with my husband, she was someone he grew up with. So it wasn't like some ran, it wasn't like it was some new chick. It was someone he actually knew from the neighborhood. But the thing with her that she boasts and she bragged about sleeping with him. She wanted me to know she was sleeping with him. She wanted to know that she was carrying his child. That says a lot about her as a woman. Now it do takes two to tangle. Like, you know, I already you know, said a lot about him. But I'm just talking about the female. You know, to really believe that a man loves you and respects you when he's willing to lay down with you without no protection, knowing that he's still sleeping with his wife. So if I was a dirty broad who didn't take care of herself, didn't get annual checkups and was sleeping around, I could have had anything and he would have gave it to her. He would have gave it to her. Because not only did she sleep with this married man, you allow him to go up and you roar. She allowed him to go up in her roar, which says a lot about how she values her body. Then she really believed that he loved her. She really believed that they was going to be together forever. She really believed that he was going to take care of this child that she was having by him. This is what men do to women. They are able to play on them. They are able to manipulate them when we don't love ourselves. Because she believed everything he told us. She believed that the marriage was fake. Even when I showed the, the marriage license and the certificate. She still did not believe that this man that she was sleeping with was lying to her. She, she argued with my grown ass kids on Facebook over this same man. Who does not want to divorce me to marry her. This is goes to show you that a lot of women, we do not love ourselves. And it's, it's, it's really sad. It's, it's, it's horrible. And it was a, a hurtful thing to have to go through. But because I'm resilient. And I've been getting to love myself and value my worth. 
and I and I, and I let him go. You know, go do what you because I I knew he was gonna try to come back. I knew, and guess what? We are, we we friends. We talk every day. He's there for his daughter because we have a thirteen year old daughter together. He's there. He, we have we have reconciled, and we are very very good friends. And he told me still to this day, I will never divorce you. And if I can have you back, I'm going to keep fighting to give you, get you back. So what does that say about him as a man? What does that say about her as a woman? And we're going to just put out there, people going to cheat. People are going to cheat. Not everybody cheats, but men going to cheat and women going to cheat. Because these are lessons that we have to learn. So we go through these things to learn lessons. And everything we do in life comes with consequences. We reap what we sow. The seeds that we sow is we're going to reap. What goes around comes around the same way you get a man, the same way you lose a man. And even when he came to visit me a couple months ago, you know, she, she, she sent me this Facebook message. Which I didn't even bother to answer. I'm not going to answer you. Because if you still want to be chasing after this man. If you still want to lay down with this man. When you know obviously where his heart lies at. You the stupid one. You the stupid one. If you want to keep sleeping with him. Giving your body to him. Keep chasing after him. And have 15 other babies by him. That's on you. That's on you. Because when I told her, he can't take care of that child that you're about to have by him. When I, he don't love you. She didn't want to believe me. And it all boils down to a lack of self-worth. Worth, lack of self-esteem. You don't never get yourself involved in a, with a married man or married woman that's still in their marriage. marriage. That's the one thing you don't do. Because how many men do you know actually divorces their wife to sleep, I mean to marry their side chick? Those type of men don't even have no respect for the child, the side chick, because she done laid down with him knowing that he was married and with another woman. And then to go have a baby thinking that the baby is going to keep this man is sad. Marriage is going to always have the up and, up and down. You're going to go through a lot of shit. That's how you grow. That's how you strengthen. Now it's up to the wife to decide whether or not she want to give her husband a second chance. And if she do, she best to make sure he prove himself to him. You have to have things in place that he has to do in order to prove that he is worth a second chance. You just cannot go back to him. You just cannot go back to him. But just, it's just sad that people really do not value marriage. It's just pla it's sad that women, I've, this is what a man said. He said, and I hear this from many, many men. They say, a woman is writing her story. She casts the actors. The actors come along, come along and play the role that is needed to get the job. So, and we cast them. And the one thing they, a man, I'm learning that a man is going to tell a woman what he knows or thinks she wants to hear. And once he tell her everything she wants to hear, he know he got her. So he would say, no, I'm not with my wife. No, I'm not sleeping with my wife. Oh, I'm sleeping on the couch. Me and my wife don't have sex. My wife this, 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 and that. He would badmouth her. Because he want to feel pity from the side chick. He want to feel pity from the side chick. And once he see that he don't want her over. We're just running off at the mouth. Ain't got to take her out. Ain't got to pay no bills. Ain't got to do nothing. But so bad about the wife that he's cheating on. The same woman that he still loves. The same woman that he wants to go back to. All he got to do is run off the mouth. And boom. He got the side chick. He got her. And then, when the lust runs out, guess where he going back? To the one he cheated on. And I've seen it time and time and time again. But yes, I've been through a whole lot. 
I'm resilient because I bounced back. I was determined to bounce back. I hold no hatred in my heart towards my husband. Because guess what? He's still my husband. We share a child together. And the one thing we're doing right now is building a friendship. And just talking and getting to know one another. But it's never ever worth sleeping with a married man. Never. It doesn't pay to lose yourself in a man. Period. Whether he's married or not. If that man is in a relationship, as a woman, you should respect your sister. Tell that man to go on about his business if he's trying to holler at you and you know he's in a relationship. You should love yourself more. You should love yourself enough to say that you deserve better. Miss Goddess Hadia.